we're going to go ahead and start building our project now. So the first thing we need is buttons. The buttons are essentially just shapes. They're rectangles. So we'll add our first one here. And we will add some text to it. And we will call it Section 1. So now we're going to set this box up as a button. What that does is it's going to give it some of the properties of a button. You can see that the rollover happens. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste it twice because we need three buttons. Okay, so there's two and three. Change this one to section two and change this one to section three. Okay, now we're going to capture our check mark over here from our previous project. We're going to go ahead and copy that. Now it's already a hidden object, so when I paste it on over here, you'll see that it becomes a hidden object. We're going to go ahead and unhide it because that would be the default. The other thing that we know is that it's called Section 1 Done. So when we come over here, we need to name that as Section 1 Done. Hit enter. Now, let's go ahead and copy that. And we will paste and paste. I'm using Control C and Control V to do that. So we'll bring these down to where we want them. One and two. Now, as we saw in the other one, each one of these is going to be hidden. So there you go, they should be hidden. Yes, yes, hidden. Okay, so this one was section one done. So the second one is going to be section two done. Press enter. There you go. And then this last one is section three done. Hit enter. So now when we preview this project, we should just see the three buttons. And there you have it section one, section two, and section three with no check marks. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and add that continue button.